entire record of this case has come to be reasonably sure that George Perot did not physically or sexually assault Mary Precott. That finding be as heavily on the determination Our students are working on real-world projects. In the case of wrongful convictions, someone's freedom is depending on them and all of us who are working on that particular case. People are reaching out to us as a last resort. The students do everything, from the littlest things, like if we need to ask them to go back into a trial transcript to really in-depth research, they have a significant part in bringing up ideas to pursue and directing the research as a collaborative effort. When I first started working on Schuster, I was working on George Barat's case. This was obviously supported by a false testimony from FBI examiners and an FBI laboratory. This is a man who spent 30 years in prison. He was taken advantage of because of his lack of knowledge. So many factors are working against him, but yet he still maintained his innocence. The number of wrongfully convicted people who are sitting in prisons right now based on all kinds of junk science is enormous. Finally, the public, as well as the criminal justice establishment, has started to realize that just because someone is convicted doesn't mean they actually did it. When the judge read that, decision. He recognized George as another human being deserving of, of his dignity. I was just so happy to see him in plain clothes, reunited with his mother. It was amazing. When you don't have watchdog journalism to monitor both our government and large organizations, including corporations, then your democracy is under threat. I believe in this day and age, because information is able to be accessed at such a fast rate, that we need investigative journalists to push and to share and keep distributing like, um, information that is true, information that is objective, and information that, is, that isn't biased. The thing that most distresses me about our work here are the cases we have to turn down, that we would take if we had the resources to take them. There's simply not enough people committed to this work to take all of the cases that need to be taken. It just feels like a privilege to be a part of their lives and to be the person who finally said yes to their case and believed them, really bringing the truth to light and getting their voices heard.